end of November, I'm preparing my home to get ready for Christmas, cleaning and dusting before putting all my deco, my Christmas deco in place. I decided to change a bit the position of my furniture in the living room because I think it creates a change and as a, a bit of space has to be found for the tree and for the Christmas deco, I think it's just a fun and inexpensive way to rediscover a room and to play with your decors a bit differently each year. Changing the furniture is always something that makes me happy. It just changes the energy of a room and gives a bit of fresh, a fresh start for the season. So before starting to put all my deco, uh, which I like to do usually in for about two weeks, of course, with my past paper Christmas decors coming from my workshops and also adding at the very end the new Christmas decors from the new workshop with a bit of things coming from nature or that. I never buy anything, only candles and a bit of fragrances here and there, but really nothing, no deco, my deco, I make them all uh, in paper. And for Christmas, the only thing I like to buy on top of my candles is a Christmas fragrance, a festive fragrance. And here I found this one, which is tea and gingerbread, and it's pretty festive and nice. But I like to be sure that all the paper decals uh, are working. Some of them need batteries. I need to restock in candles with nice red festive candles. I love red for Christmas. I always, always have red. It makes me happy to see this red everywhere and it just creates a warm and festive, uh, cozy atmosphere for the season. And we had a rather warm autumn, but now the temperatures are dropping. To transition to this colder season, I invested in a nice hot water bottle, which I think is going to be very useful, whatever happens in the next month. And I also invested for the first time in very warm 100% wool sweaters. I never had 100% wool sweaters and it makes a big, big difference. It really keeps you super warm. Uh, I'm discovering that just now.
prepare also my deco, I went to the wood near my home, which has a lot, a lot, a lot of holy trees, and I grabbed a few branches, which I have the right to do, by the way, it's legal to do. I know sometimes people ask me if I'm allowed to do what I do, but yes, I'm allowed to do it because I don't sell those, they're just for my home, and they're just few branches. just a great time at the wood this morning uh, the, it's the wood which is just located close to my home uh, around the park I usually go and it's um, it's a, it's a wood which is covered with holy trees I think half of the trees in this wood are all holy trees so of course I had to grab them I didn't find it last year I didn't realize there were so many holy trees but this year I just thought oh, I'm going to to bring back a lot it there are so many even for someone who would like to take other little branches there. They are just, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if there is a hundred of trees, but a lot, a lot of them. So I brought a few branches and I think if they are drying, well, before mid-December, something like that, I will go back fetching new branches and refresh a bit my deco. I plan to have them on my mantel um, fireplace, probably outside for my deco and also on the, um, on the chandelier at the top. I have uh, grabbed more than that actually, it's still in my bag, but it's going to be fun to play and to decorate with. On top of my paper decors, of course, I'm still working on the Christmas workshop. You're going to see in the next video, which is going to be the second of my Christmas series, uh, the mantle, uh, the decorating of the mantle and the fireplace. And you will see one of the decor we are doing in the new workshop. I know I'm late as always, and I thank those who are patient and they are still excited about the this new workshop coming but really there is no way I could be um, less late unless I didn't do the Halloween season because during Halloween season the workshop which takes about one month and a half of filming editing all that and all the videos to promote it which takes also a long time which I adore doing I have a lot of fun doing that but it takes a long time then during Christmas and all the Christmas videos to promote the workshop all that it takes time so the only way I could do it is if I would not do maybe a spring workshop or something during the spring season or but i yes the, the whole year is pretty full so i don't really have another time during the year where i could do it but it's fine i accept it just know that i have at the moment five christmas workshops which are open that you can join or six i'm not even sure if it's not six so you have 
quite many possibilities already to start something now till the new Christmas workshop opens. So it's not like if I have nothing at all Christmas related available. So you can just go into my website and find a Christmas adventure if you want to start some paper decals right now. And the new one is going to come at the beginning of December because I'm finishing it. I still have some, some work to do and I'm also having a little escapade uh, in a few days which was planned for a long time. I didn't travel at all this year. I only received uh, friends and super nice ladies coming from the other side of the world, which is a bit like traveling when people visit you, but it's not totally the same. So sometimes it's just fun to have a bit of an adventure and I have one coming in a few days. So thank you as always for your messages, your kind comments and your thumbs up, which help a lot my videos to get discovered on YouTube, which is a bit of jungle. So thank you for those who take the time to do that. It, I appreciate it a lot. And for now, I will leave you here. I go back working in the studio and I will see you very soon with a, another Christmas video. 